even though it always doesn't seem like it, there is always time to do what you aspire to do. My name is Alexa Christian and this is my story. I would say I'm an actor and a writer and a poet. I started writing first. What drew me to writing is that my mother is a writer. So when I was younger, she was writing so many different plays at the same time. And I would see her writing her ideas and her ideas would be on papers all over the house. And so I'd pick up and I'd read some of them and I just really wanted to try it and I wanted to um, see what I could come up with. Something that really just kicked started was a specific poem called Fist on the End of the Pick. And it's one of my favorite poems that I've ever written. And I thought that it was so good that I just decided to make a lot of more poetry and make it into a book. The book was called From a Black Girl to All Black Girls, Poems and Monologues, Volume 1. That book was a love letter to younger girls for them to find a love for poetry and for them to start writing themselves and to really learn about the history of poetry and the types of poems. And so it really just takes their creativity and allows it to take the wheel. At the same amount of time my release date for the book was coming out, there was news that children, because of the pandemic, were being underserved in their literacy education. And so the book could be in classroom libraries and school libraries so that children could get the poetry and they could get their literacy education while they were at home and in the pandemic. It ended up with volume two. That happened because I put volume one on the first book. <laughs> there needs to be a volume two because it wouldn't make sense to put volume one on something that didn't have a volume two. And now there's volume three coming out soon. It'll be the last installment. I'm going into like a whole nother genre. Some poetry has inspired book plots. Some have inspired even movie plots. So I'm really branching out my writing. As pertaining to fine arts and theater, I definitely see doing plays and movies. Um, so that would feed into the entertainment industry. In the fourth grade, um, I did The Emperor Has No Clothes, but I played the queen and I completely fell in love with the theater and the rehearsal process and having the skeleton of a set and building on costumes and building on characters. So that's why I was like, nope, I changed my mind. I want to be an actor now. Of course, I've learned so much because of high school. I went to Germantown High School. Acting like at Germantown was very fun. And it was very fun because we had to be the producers and the actors and the singers and the dancers. And we, we put ourselves not only into the dialogue, not only into the music, but into the sets and into the costumes. So having more investment, not just in the rehearsal process, but outside of the rehearsal process, that is what made uh, acting at Germantown so special. God bless us, everyone. I graduated from Germantown last year, and for a semester I went to the University of Cincinnati where I was focused with dramatic arts. In the spring semester, I came back home and was in a movie, actually. You were? <gasps> okay, okay. Some of the things that I get out of being an actress is the community that theater and that uh, filmmaking brings. I really appreciate the love that the cast and the crew will build with each other and for each other in a safe environment. And just the different aspects of learning about somebody else that may not even be real but that can become a part of who I am. As an actor, I really just want to be somebody that does work that lasts and work that has great meaning. Time is your greatest friend. Um, and even though it always doesn't seem like it, there is always time to do what you aspire to do, to be what you aspire to be especially to the people that don't know what that is yet, there is always time. <laughs>